say Dave here, I ordered a bug suit the other day uh, through Walmart and it just arrived in the mail. I suspect with all of the rain that we've had in Kentucky this year, uh, including today, that in the coming weeks it is going to be extraordinarily buggy. And so in anticipation of that, I went ahead and ordered this. It was only $22. Uh, it's supposed to be the full suit, including uh, the mittens and the, uh, the headdress, the jacket, pants. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. Pretty nice carry bag. Uh, doesn't look like it's any bigger than it needs to be. It's got an extra strap here. Never had one of these, so this is a first time for me. This looks like the no seam material. I'm guessing these are the pants. It's got a drawstring on it. Let's give these a shot. I bought the size large. I'm about 175 pounds and 5 feet. 11 inches. That's a good fit right there. It's got about two inches of extra mature when my leg is straight. When it's flexed, it comes right to the top of the foot. It's got drawstrings on the uh, ankle area too. Now this is the jacket. It's got a drawstring left and right. I'm going to see if I can figure out which way is the front. It has a zipper around the collar area, so I'm assuming that's going to be the front because you're going to want to be able to open that up. Drawstrings on the wrist area also. Well, that's a good fit, and with a full brimmed hat on, keeps that material off of your face. Zipped it closed. Yep, I did. Okay, so there's the opening. So you can take that off if you need to. You can uh, eat or drink holding that open. Set the hat. So, first experience with this, uh, putting this headdress on and just my normal breath in the house, which right now is at 70 degrees, it is a bit warm uh, with this on as opposed to not having it on. So, you will feel some additional heat. Uh, building up when you have this on, but the option is be a little bit warmer and avoid being eaten by insects or be eaten by insects. Okay, 
so this, that's for a foot. String. That's for a foot. Now, if you got boots on and socks on, of course, you're not going to need those. Um, but plenty of overlap, probably five inches uh, from the leg to the, the booty. So, plenty of coverage there. And this will be the mittens. And that's got an elastic band on the mitten. So it's inside out. There's one. And this one is also inside out. I don't think it really matters. It's just where the thumb was. opportunity to test this out in the field in about two weeks and uh, we'll see how it works out. Uh, there is a couple videos on this of different suits that people have. Definitely stay away from campfires. Um, I, one uh, gentleman gave a review of this suit. He's actually had it for 15 years and he camps quite a bit. Um, small holes in it will, uh, when you snag it on a branch or whatever, you can either use a, a piece of thread, just stitch that closed, or if you're in the field, just a piece of duct tape on the outside, piece of duct tape on the inside, and you'll be all set till you get home and you can stitch it. So, 22 bucks, it got here five days early, came in from California. I'm pretty stoked about going out camping in what's gonna become very buggy weather.